Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Farsha and today we are going to do a quick look for hooded eyes. Now you might think look at her she doesn't have hooded eyes but i do right now my hair is tied in kind of a high point it will actually pull up all your features that's why if i kind of just loosen this okay i just kind of got this loose you can see how much my my brows fall i'm going to relax my face a bit i'm going to cover my face <laughs> when i look like this you can see how almost my entire lid gets hidden and or gets folded upon especially my right eye as you can see i've pretty much done the rest of my makeup but i didn't do my eyelids yet what i'm going to do first is take a little bit of concealer on a domed fluffy brush like this and just to tackle any pigmentation that i have i am just using this and spreading out that concealer you can completely skip this step if it's not necessary. Look at the difference this makes. Voila! And now we're gonna set it with some loose setting powder. I'm just using the Laura Mercier one. And this is just so that the concealer doesn't crease. The next step is to tightline your waterline. I like to do this step because uh, you know you can fake a slightly enhanced lash line this is great for people who don't like to use lashes and i honestly do not do the same thing but just in the outer third of my eye so i mean sorry outer third of my lower waterline i don't like to go with it all the way unless i'm doing a smoky eye have you watched my smoky eye look i am gonna link it right here now many times when you do this step a lot of people's eyes water so i would say have something like a pointed little q-tip and what you need next is a nice soft gold pencil what i like to use is this one from gosh cosmetics and very roughly i'm going to draw this all over my lash line and i'll just kind of wing it out a bit as well and now using a dense brush like this i'm just going to start buffing that color so I try to blend this, you want to pat on that line and just flick it upwards this way. With whatever's left on the brush, you can kind of bring it all the way inside just to create a full eyeshadow look. And whole hooded eye clan, remember when you do your eyeshadow, you need to keep your mirror in front, keep your eyes open and do it. So I'm going to go in with a little more now. And once again, we'll just blend that. Now you want something that is a softer cold and it kind of has like that soft creaminess to it. I'll go with a little bit of it under my eye as well. Again, just that outer third and we just blend that. And what this does is it just helps elongate the eye. And with what was left on the brush, I'm just trying to pull all of that out this way. And we're going to continue flicking it all the way up. Now for me, this eye is way more hooded than my left eye. I know I'm not looking, but you know, I'm just feeling the bristles on my eyelid. I can see my liner is already smudged a bit from the down. So I'm not going to add extra, but I'm just going to blend whatever was there. Another thing, you guys can totally do this with powders. I felt with the cold pencil, you're just able to manipulate the shadow a little more faster because of its creaminess and you can take advantage of the fact that you know coal is like a soft cream shadow almost cleaning up that waterline i feel like right now a lot got deposited this was probably because i don't know if my eyes teared up a little bit take a black pencil this is smolder draw a very blended black eyeliner but once again, I want to keep this more focused on the outside part. So I'm going to take a clean pencil brush now and very lightly smoke it upwards. I feel like this will add all that necessary intensity and you just want to connect this to the lower part as well. Usually for this eye, I have to keep the pencil a little more thinner. I have a lot more lid space on that eye as compared to this. You can move it in tiny zigzaggy motions or you can do tiny circles as well when you want to blend out a uh, cold pencil like this. And if you feel like your cold pencil is something that 
will move a lot through the day. You can lightly set it with some eyeshadow powder, but for today's look, I'm not going to set it with any powder because these actually last pretty well, as in once you're blended, they kind of set really well. Be careful again if you are using one of those long wear pencils. You have to blend those really fast, otherwise, you know, once they set, you can't blend them anymore. I'm going to give both the eyes a final blend with this brush. This is how the eyes should look once it's all well blended. So the next thing is to curl your lashes. And I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I love so much. The closest mascara to this that I found is the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lashes, I think it's called. If you happen to even smudge your mascara at the back, it'll actually just blend right in. On my bottom lashes, I honestly love the look like this. I mean, I love how big it makes my eyes look. But if you feel like you haven't blended something properly or it looks a little patchy or muddy somewhere, just go in with your bronzer. And all you have to do is just sweep this color, starting from above your crease and you can just pull it out this way. What this does is it just creates that transition shade almost. And you just pull it. For those who prefer, you can totally go in with falsies, but I generally don't prefer. And to finish off this makeup look before I head out, you know I always like to dust a little bit of powder on the center of my face to take care of texture, because that's what I have. Um, quite a bit of dry skin today actually but yeah this is the finished look it's an easy eyeshadow look all you need is just two color powders or two color pencils I know a very small video today but I thought you guys might get a little bit of in-depth information on how I blend my eyeshadow make it look more seamless I hope you learned something new today and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Stay beautiful and enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>